Monday. Yeah, it was gross. <laughs> rundown uh, is July. S- July. 16th. June, June, June 16th. Right? 17, I think. 18. 18. June 18th. Tommy. Dang. Um, June 18th. The run now is brought to you by guys Body Armor. Um, they got all sorts of athletes. They had Justin Ta- uh, DJ. I saw him drinking Body Armor water. Mm. I don't know if they'll drop him after he dropped that lead. We'll find out. They also got uh, Rizzo. They got Mike Trout. They got a bunch of guys. Um, they also, th- we got the blueberry. There's another one in there that I like too. Oh no, I like Topical the blueberry. Punch is Great. Yellow. That's kind of wild. It's delicious. When you usually think, I usually think of punches red. It's got some pineapple in it. I am, uh, and by the way, we're getting a lot, and uh, we're getting tons of praise because they're seeing everybody tweet now that they're drinking the body armor, so thank you. Uh, we are going to put Gatorade out of business, which is fine by me, and then we get huge check and everyone wins, so if you're drinking your body armor, send it to us. I'd also like to say I am a total noodle. Like, I am a... Yeah, you were noodly on Friday. I am noodle city. Um, the definition of noodle is... is Sliding though. No, no but it you isn't. could tell. Yeah, no, no, no. I mean, like during club day, days, noodle was a whole other fucking yeah. scene. Well, we went out late in the Hamptons, so that's why I'm noodle. We went out late. What's up with the and then you did the Hamptons. sun. Oh, I just got glitter bombed, actually. Oh, yeah. okay. Thanks for asking, Kevin. Yeah, it's all yeah. over your. Everywhere. Yeah, no, it's everywhere. I got glitter Who did bombed. That? I don't know. Someone on the street? It's happened no, to me. They no, no, it. you send uh, you a package. Uh, uh, was it a Moscovitz? Probably. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, honestly, I'll be much more alert, and I don't like who. Yeah, no, me. I got glitter bomb once like a year ago, and I've gotten at least two since then. Just throw it right there. Yeah, trash. and why? Like, I honestly, glitter bombing me in my office is nothing. Yeah, there's no cameras. Well, it's not right. that. It's like I don't care about cleaning it. Right. Like if you glitter bomb me in my apartment, that's a problem. Yeah. Because oh. then I got to clean it. <laughs> well, that's well, that's why I was gonna say that. But I mean, now I'm on the lookout. Yeah. Now you and know. you can tell what it like what it looks like. Yeah, I would it's know. a cylinder now. with staples yeah. on the bottom. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be a little poster. It wasn't. It was glitter. Yeah. Um, it's brought, I did, I got glitter bombs. I, uh, you actually need to have Tommy just open all your mail for you. Maybe It's I'll almost like the king has everyone try the food. Yeah, and right. Yeah, like a gladiator when that guy eats his food first. And even if you think it's a glitter bomb, you have to open it, Tommy, in case it's not. Right, because it could be something good. Right, um, so everyone starts sending glitter bombs to Tommy. SeatGeek, they are ticket people. Use the code RUNDOWN, you get $10 off your first ticket order. Um, baseball, concerts, baseball and concerts. We're in baseball concert phase of... The year. Slow time of the year. Um, Seek Geek, rundown, $10 off your first ticket order. U.S. Open, we were referencing that. Uh, the rundown was live there Thursday. We did Barstool Radio. Our guy, Matt Parziali, won the low am, tied for it. Um, I thought we were going to get him to wear a hat in the ceremony, and they wouldn't let him. He, he actually texted me. He's like, sorry, I couldn't wear the hat. And I wrote back, I know you weren't allowed to wear the hat because nobody would willingly go on national TV with that type of hat head tan, which, I mean, he looked <laughs> outrageous. So clearly he was like, no hats on you. Um, and all the talk, obviously, was about the course. And I feel like we were almost in a position of defending the course mm-hmm. because we were with, I like, love the course. Yeah, we are with the USGA. Yeah. And it's like they set the course, and it was every from, from Tyson DeChambeau to be like clown golf to... Trent Sky, Zach Johnson. Zach Johnson. They lost the course. They lost control of the course. Like it was an animal running mm-hmm. away. Like it got off its leash. Crying. Ian Poulter. Ian Poulter is the worst person. Like a lot. Yeah. It's the craziest the part sucks. is that we've learned in golf. Like yeah, okay, I understand the thought process that you don't want to reward or you don't want to like penalize good shots. I get that. But what it ended up coming down to was all the golfers just complained enough that they changed it and made it easier. Yeah, they gave in. They capitulated. And it made no sense because even when they were complaining, it was like Dustin Johnson was in first. Yeah. The defending champ, by the way, who... Great golfer. Again, yeah, if it was all scrubs and it really was just like uh, up, up to the bounce of the ball, I can understand right, that. Right, they finished plus but, eight. But, you know, DJ wasn't complaining. He was out there yeah. at, the, at the lead of the pack. Like, and, you know, and they were around even. That's what you want yeah. for the U.S. Open. Brooks... Kopka, again, the weird Kepka. Yeah. Kepka. I, I said this last year when he won the U.S. Open, but literally two years before he won it, I went double date with him. Mm-hmm. He was kind of a dud, to be totally honest. I thought I was carrying the entire conversation. Good looking dude, though. He is. Yeah. Strong, built. Yeah. And I, in, in person, I was like, okay, he's okay. He, now, he may have just. He didn't want to be on a fucking double date with you because he's about to be a back to back U.S. Open winner. Well, I don't think he knew that at that time. And let me oh. say this that could have been the reason. I would imagine. Whatever the reason was, he was. If I was on a double date with you, I wouldn't be like trying to impress you. Well, no, I don't think he was trying to impress me, but maybe the girl he was with, like, I mean, I wasn't, like, 
I wasn't trying to impress him, but think I could tell it's like, I'm killing this. He's, about, a, he's, yeah. he's a duck. Think about the historical ramifications of a double date with the last three U.S. Open winners. Yeah. It's mm. wild. It is. And That's who would have ever thought that for, when we saw history at Shinnecock, Tommy, not only would we have the U.S. Open champ, we'd have the low am in the same group. Yeah. What were the odds of that? Wow. Yeah. Insane. Yeah. Um, Phil Mickelson. He just set the <laughs> golf world on fire with this move that he did, which he putted, ran after it, hit it back. Then you get in the technicalities, which is um, basically you're a, if you shoot the ball twice in one shot, it's a two-shot penalty. If you stop it or deflect it while it's moving, disqualified. A lot of back and forth on that. Um, he did shoot it. It was a shooting motion. And the golf went nuts. Oh. I mean, nuts. this, this is like a part of my take dream come Dude, true. this, this was, is like. I mean, I was, I was like getting high off of the takes. <laughs> the people, that's a true injection the into my veins. The spirit of the of game thing. was broken. I mean, for the kids. The, there was a the, lot of kids. For the children. Said the kids, yeah. Rick Riley had the slippery slope. Like, he's like, now you're just going to go, all these, like, you know, bums are going to go out on their Saturday afternoon golf and just start whack a mole it. It's like, <laughs> it, it was just insane. The whole thing was fantastic. Phil, by the way, we all agree, right? Like, he wasn't planning on doing that. He was just frustrated. Of course. Because the excuse he came was like... That he, he said he knew the rule. Yeah, but... Yeah, he, he said but, he knew the rule and he's been waiting to use it to his advantage when bullshit. you're 10 over par. It's like, no. Dude. Because the rules, someone pointed out that the, if he had just called an unplayable, it's a one-stroke penalty and he gets to replay. So there was but, better yeah, 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 yeah. Right, there's the, better loopers. My, my question... He clearly was frustrated, no doubt about that. My question is whether he knew the differentiation between uh, disqualification... Like, if he... if. Did he know he couldn't just stop it? Right, he had to shoot it like right. that. Because if he stopped it. I don't think he knew it, any of that. I think he was frustrated. Yeah, he right. was I think after the fact, off. he was right. like, let me come up We've, with something. It was the most relatable moment I've ever yeah. watched in a golf. Yeah, like my that. mother was calling for him to be ejected. She yeah. takes no. that shit seriously. Who, what, what, what is wrong with the fucking, what is wrong with the golf world? I mean, How can you honestly sit there and talk about sport. the children and talk about how you lost tremendous respect for in the course? I saw, what lost are we course? talking about? I saw some British guy on like yeah. Oh, yeah. Fox broadcast the oh, next day. He was, and he was not like, enough contrition. Yeah, he wasn't happy with the apology. The best was at the end, he was like, I, and, uh, I will not apologize because I'm British. He made a complete mistake. Uh, in Britain, we would call him uh, an ass, a, a silly ass. Um, what worries me more is that he shows little contrition now. There's not much um, chastening. He doesn't look to me this morning as though he realizes quite what has happened and how he has offended so many people. And if my judgment is rather severe, then I'm British and I make no apologies for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Like that's the, you know, like where they invented golf. So you can. Yeah. Dude, what? I mean, even oh, like, I wanna, I wanna, and, I, and I know Joe Buck has done this in the past, like with the Randy Moss thing, but like when you cover all, when you're a golf guy, like that British guy didn't surprise me. Joe Buck has seen it all in every type of sport for him to be like, well, well he, he has children. He has to because he has he's to play. in I don't think you have to go that far. Especially with Fox. The children? Yeah, he the has children to, aren't even watching no, golf. Children don't play, watch golf because of this. But, but what about the children? But he has to play to that. I mean, like they, Twitter, what if they do watch golf? Twitter all, like pretty much said like this is ridiculous and we're getting upset about it. But you got to remember, Joe Buck is playing to the fifty-year-old, sixty-year-old dad sitting on his couch, who is and, shocked, stunned, and disgusted by Phil Mickelson. And oh, like that, that, that exists, Kevin. Um, that I know. exists everywhere. I, I get already, it. Yeah, clearly, I mean, they're already like probably a little upset that Fox has the broadcast because they don't have Jim Nance. To who, you know, yeah, he would like, have gone. Jim Nance. He would have like actually passed out. No, oh. Jim, Jim Jim Nance wouldn't have survived. He would have like, oh, no. not survived. Oh no. He would have got. He would have like. Could you imagine if Vern was up uh, out there? Taking a private oh. jet to like lost what's Vern. that cabin in like Masters and just like <laughs> yeah slept. Butler cabin. Butler. He would have just gone directly mm -hmm. from Shinnecock to Butler cabin and, like slept for a month. When oh. I saw it, like I thought it was gonna be some Happy Gilmore shit where he like whacked it or something, something like completely outlandish. I, I mean, I know this is the golf. This is what golf does, but this was. I think it was the dumbest sports coverage I've ever seen. Not exaggerating. I do love. I don't that think it I've ever seen any, a bigger overreaction than that in my whole life. Because if it was anyone else, I think they would have gotten disqualified, and they wouldn't have had like the defense wouldn't have been uh, the defense against how ridiculous it was, or like you know guys like what we're talking about right now wouldn't have been as vocal if it was just some no name. But the fact it was Phil. I mean, Phil's a people's golfer. I feel like the rule is supposed to be if you like double hit it by accident, not like you run and. No, like, yeah, hit the a rule shot, is like, if your ball, it's. Like I was reading it, about, like I got really deep into it. It's like basically if the ball starts to move it, when you're in your backswing and then you swing through it, then that's what the rule is there for. So you're hitting a moving ball. 
Made it interesting. Uh, don't forget, by the way. Made it great, by the way. That was like the most fun I was weekend say, of was golf that, coverage. Was, are we doing hashtag good for golf or bad? For oh, golf? I think great it was for great for between Phil and the course and everyone crying about the course. It was full on drama. Great for golf. Yeah, I, but, and the, but and, this made me dislike. I love the drama, but I was like, oh, I'm see. genuinely over the it's, golf it, 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 it's, yeah, I wasn't already, I'm dead. I remember dead. I, I screwed up the DVR. I was watching the house. Somebody putt and rolled past the green, and the announcer's like, you just, the, the golf course just can't embarrass people like this. Yes. Like, they're like, this yeah, is Yeah, it just. made them look like fools. They're yeah. like, the golf course was set up to make us look like fools. <laughs> I mean, that's... That's great for golf. But it's it like is kind of a weird every, scenario. Like imagine if like one day like a basketball hoop was just fifteen feet and it was just like deal with it. Yeah, but it, every, know, it yeah, be, but if everybody is like right. they weren't it's all relative, like, fools, like oh, all, these are tough shots. So yeah. and I'd rather like you want that. I mean it was great the next day too when they're making runs, but hey, I played it. I didn't complain. Not one complaint. Um, a thousand mulligans, not one complaint. People 3, are still uh, you want to talk about the golf community, like that I mean Ian Poulter literally couldn't have put a tweet on a T better than the one he did like mm-hmm. when he's like, what do we got mulligans here? Yeah. And then I wrote him and a, Bozo, yeah, which a obviously stern, yeah, that was, nothing to do with rigs, yeah, but crazy. A sternly worded tweet I wrote back to him and I get people just being like, there's no way mulligans weren't a factor in your score. Like dead serious. Like dead serious. <laughs> 3,000 mulligans. They're like, I, there's no way you shoot a 66 with, without the mulligans. Like people Well, actually, we don't, know. we don't know. I'd say that. We don't know. My, my company line was generally I played within the rules presented in front of me. Yes. Like, uh, what do you want? You play I, the course, man. Yeah. You, play. you actually <laughs> followed the rules better than Phil. Yeah. I didn't break the rules. Mm-hmm. It, but to think somebody's sitting there that feels the need to, to type that is quite impressive. Mm-hmm. Um, another, oh, well, no, we'll go to this. So this clip, I don't know if we did this already four years ago, this entire cycle with the Moroccan World Cup coach. I don't know if they were in it last time. But this guy. Tommy, did you, uh, did you get the topics? Before? I got his he name did. is Harv Renard. Did was yeah. Harv Renard. How, is this his second go around? I'll be looking that up. Now. He is legitimately the best looking human I've ever seen. I was going to pose this to you, him or Lundqvist. Mm. I think he's better than Lundqvist. Whoa. Lundqvist him, is awesome. Lundquist, but, Mary Fuck know. Kill, him, Lundqvist, Jimmy Garoppolo. I, I, oh, I, he, well. No, no, no. I'm, I'm fucking gonna swap this out guy. Garoppolo. I'm going to put in Paige Peranek's fiance. Oh. 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 Now you're fucked. Oh. I'm fucking. Oh. You got, after, after all the ragdog talk, I'm Mary, rag dog, I, I, I'm, no, I'm marrying, I'm marrying Speranek's husband. Yeah, um, you can speak English to him. Yeah, and I like, <laughs> every, yeah, day in and yeah, day out, a, it would be just, like a ball. And then I'm fucking this Moroccan guy because that guy, that guy's fucked. just. That guy. And even he dresses like he's at a club at all yeah. times. Yeah. Like the tight well, I white I think that's shirt. just Morocco. Like yeah, he's got just, the hookahs. Right, is, the, is Morocco where Monaco is? Uh, no. I don't think so. Even close, right? Monaco. Monaco's friends. Yeah. Well, Monaco's like this guy Adams. belongs in Monaco at all times. Like just I feel like he riding work motorcycles, in Morocco, hair. Too. Morocco's like... in Africa, right, Zah? Yeah. 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 But what feel... a guy. Um, Sergio, this is a funny clip. This, this, the Saturday for the Boys stuff, a lot of times, like, all right, how many times can you see Saturday for the Boys? This may reinvigorate the franchise for me. Like, the, so Stooley's like, hey, Sergio, what are Saturdays for? And Sergio's is like, getting fucked in the ass. And the kid who asked it has a great, he's like, okay, all right. Yeah. Like, that, <laughs> that made, like, the video. Uh, eight seconds, just very funny. Yes. Change well, the slogan. Yeah. Okay, all on, right. Put that on a flag. It was so, it, it came so quickly to him that that's definitely what goes down at the Garcia house. Yeah. On yeah. Saturdays. Yeah, that's just like that's, a fact. Hey, that's what, like, the slogan, it's whatever you want it to be. Saturdays, yeah. it's up to you. You do whatever yeah. you want. You, you want to do a little drinking? You want to do a little ass fucking? It's up to you. Good, boy. Hey, Serge, what are Saturdays for? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. All right. I like that. Didn't expect that, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we got tonight. It's airing the Jimmy Kimmel versus Ted Cruz basketball game. I don't know if you could bet on this, but I don't. Uh, well, oh, if we, you could have. Of you could have. Yeah. Whether it was a line A point, but Cruz beat him. That's I, I, it's joke charity. I think this is a very bad look for Jimmy Kimmel. Oh yeah. He, he was the one running his mouth. Yeah. This was Sean. This was Lab Sean 2.0. Yeah. yeah. He was like making fun of how much of a slob he was, and then as I mean, as I understand it, he like kind of beat him pretty handily. No, right? 11, it was nine. eleven no, nine. But, but I heard that he was like, like breezed by him many oh, times really? for like open layups. 
And the game was supposed to be to 15, but it was to yeah, 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 yeah. That's great. That airs tonight. That'll be fun. like I can't wait to Did see it. Did you see the warm-ups of, of Ted Cruz? Oh yeah, yeah they didn't look like, great. That's no, he didn't like, look great. But I, I mean, he could like handle himself way more walk? than I thought. I thought he was gonna be like Ravel, where like yeah. he couldn't even like like Ravel was just like throwing the ball in the air. Yeah, yeah. Ted Cruz like had looked like he had played basketball when he was younger. Now he's like a fat guy, an old guy. But I, I was more impressed than I thought it would be. His when he hit that layup in practice and his walk back and he was just when he like, checked yeah, yeah, yeah. when he Cruz. checked the ball and he like yeah. he like it was like a no look pass yeah. to check it. Do you remember the um? Ravel brings it up when he played hot sauce, yeah. uh, and it was terrible. Yeah. I actually, when I saw him at the bell, I chirped and like your your shtick got away from you in that. Yes, and, and he was like, I know. He, <laughs> yeah, he, he's like, I know. It's like Overplayed I was getting pressured. It like he's like that was not he, a great performance. Yeah, he fa- it, it was way too over yeah. the top. Yeah, and he knew it. You could tell when I said he's like, fuck, I know. Have you been following the Ravel Daily Times? No. Okay. You should uh, check what is it out. that? He does. Um, he tweets it's like a fake a newspaper. F- fake newspaper cover after every big sport. <laughs> That's actually not bad idea. He uses like you know his Ravelism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, well, last night I called because after Brooks Kepka hit that bank shot, I was like, this is definitely oh, going to make the Ravel the way, Daily Times, and it was the lead yeah, story on the Ravel. The ba- Daily I Times. saw that. I saw your tweet <laughs> of it. By the way, not to continually like. Toot my own horn, but I didn't have that advantage. Like normal golfers, no. yeah, you don't have a. Yeah, the grand wasn't there for you, right. was it? No, if that that if that grand is not there, he doesn't win the tournament. Yeah. yeah, because he's Tommy in the heavy Fleetwood festival. Out. Yeah, absolutely. I love Tommy Fleetwood's look, by the way. Yeah, yeah, he just he looks like, like a yeah, like a, the fifth member of Led Zeppelin. Yeah, he, or yeah, like steel. Surprised golf like even allowed that. Yeah, that um, yeah, that hair. Have you yeah. gotten over your missed joke opportunity yet? No, that'll never. That'll never. You should never get over. No, I won't. That that of course happened. That was he was so down. I, when I, I saw him. I was I was devastated. Yeah, I, I, I won't I do early even hits know again. That you like I watched it without seeing your your subsequent videos, like you being like I can't believe I missed that. But I mean that was the initial reaction. Like no I didn't hear who it. Was watching. I'm telling I was you like, when how, I, how? I we did that hit on Fox when the when the host called Riggs cross eyed. We went through the thing. We got off. Our PR agency Lauren texted me. She goes, "Did the host call Riggs cross eyed?" I'm like, "No," and then I just went. And watched it because people started like tweeting, "Oh my God, I called Cross." I'm like, "What are people talking about?" And I don't know what happened. I, I, how did Riggs not even react? He no, just, Riggs knew. Right, but he just he like just I mean, but he just go. kept it going. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like, I'm surprised that even he wouldn't be like. Boom, boom, boom. But, but I mean, I'm not. It was are you so that shocked? Of, I mean, the question wasn't about Dave. Right. No. So, I, well, I, I, I mean, said. I mean, yeah. the the girl had just said, "You're so funny." Yeah. That's it. I Dave also, was thinking about his own joke. Like I he was right. He he was not being addressed. He was thinking about how funny he was, and he was like, oh, the story's no longer about me, whatever. We had another moment like that. I also <laughs> think a big factor, I know this is like, not to make excuses, but if you watch it, my you head, your head. I, I was well, like, what about your ears? Like, yeah, but I was here. like, the air was oh, in my, my ears. God. What was we it? had another moment like this. <laughs> the Will, air Will was Grimmer, in my ears. The uh, am- amateur uh, came and did the radio on Friday, and I, Dave uh, was sitting there looking at his phone, and someone was like, he came on set and was like, do you want a water? And Dave just goes, no, I'm all set. And then looked up and it was like, dude, none of us are talking to you right now. I thought it was going to be the short comment. Oh, which one? Uh, you can tell that one. When too. the, when. Oh, yeah, that he, one was tough, too. For yeah, you. when he's yeah. like. Was, you were noodled, I, though. You declared like, noodle early in the day. I declared noodle before you. It, yeah. I, we were up at, like, 6.30 for you that. I didn't be, have coffee. I didn't have shit. I do agree with Dave on that part. Like, morning hits. Uh, we're bloggers by, like, nature. Yo, our listen, brains don't start working until nine o'clock. I don't care what time it is. I, when you got cockeyed rigs on the set with you, and someone says cross eye, you cannot miss. That's that. just so early. I'll never have it back. <laughs> and I, I am not like joking over. I was devastated. You should like, be. Yeah. I was. Yeah. I, I mean, the the girls were watching the ones watching it, and they were like, "You got to see this." And I like rolled my chair over, and I was looking at you, waiting for a reaction, and just nothing. I was say, it was so bad. Both Riggs' parents texted him independently, being like, "What's wrong with Dave? Yeah. How did he miss that?" All he had to do, too, like it was the lowest bar. All he had to do was laugh. Or just just a giggle, just yeah, like, just a, like ha, <laughs> done. I know I would have said, I would have said, "Well, he is cross-eyed." Yeah. yeah. But it, it, I just. I never heard it. Now, and also, by we the way, that's, just, that's like, just terrible hosting by that guy yeah. to like talk to your your your, your guest who has those eyes. And say we might need to do like a Costanza like second chance jerk. Yeah, yeah. That's, I mean, yeah, or like a Tosh Web redemption. But I'll never we'll, we we get do back a, on a, set. A highlights of the right yeah. sort of thing. We'll put up the green yeah, screen. What would Dave had said? I never. I'll never get that back. Um, <laughs> never. Never. You'll be chasing that for the rest of your. You'll life. be in the shower every morning for the mm-hmm. rest of your life, going, "Well, he is crushing." I mean, I was. Yeah. Devastated. It needs to be like the second line in your obituary. 
I had Portnoy, missed, the pizza guy yeah. who missed the rig. Fox, missed the rigs, Fox News, missed the girl from Fox right News up. came over and like apologized to me about the con- like we had a like miscommunication. She's like, I'm so sorry about that. I'm like, I know. She was apologizing mm-hmm. for the whole thing, and I was apologizing for me not making fun of it. It was like <laughs> a total disconnect. That's so good. That's so good. <laughs> um, <laughs> the oh. last one. This I don't know what's going on here. So Wayne Jetski. Oh, oh yeah, here he is. Here he is. And Wayne Jetski hasn't doesn't talk really at all. No, he said maybe three words his entire career. He's fall. He most know him just as the guy who took a nap that Nate like woke up furiously, being like, yeah. "What are you doing?" Just is he actually in there? No, no. Like no. seriously? What are you doing? I'm taking a long nap. What's the issue? Are you being serious? Yeah, I was taking a little one. At work, when people are working, you you just come in here and sleep. I was taking like a two minute nap. Is that what you do when you go to work? I'm waiting here until the cleaning crew comes. So what you do is you take naps when you go to work. So when they're all working, you just come in here and take naps, and that's acceptable. No, this is the first time I've ever done this. And what if it's like they just came in and decided I don't want to work today? I'm here. I'm waiting for the cleaning crew. This is insane. It's insanity. It's a wild move, man. Nate really feels some type of way about it. He feels well, like- Well, I haven't slept in four years, and he's sleeping in the second week on the job. I, well, I just came in this morning, I had to sleep here right. late at night, so I- <laughs> Like, this is a place where people work! This is crazy! This is crazy. This is crazy. Wow. Wow, you know, Get that. the dog on him. Uh, it's like, not that I'm working, but he put an intern on the second week is just taking a nap. Fucking crazy. Take your money out of your pocket, baby. Out of my pocket! <laughs> <laughs> you were fucking stupid! Yeah. So, Summer Spider Monkey. In the Hamptons, uh, we were in the Hamptons. Uh, we were going to a club, and this video, I saw it. It was stunning. Like, I, I didn't know what to make of it. I watched it, I showed it to everybody. Nobody knew what to make of it. I don't know, I still don't know what to make of it. He's on the thing. Some, I had people ask whether it's real, whether it's fake. I know it's real. Yeah, definitely not satirical. It was, no, it's, it's real, real, which yeah. is quite stunning. The song is a heater. Is it? Yeah. I, yeah, you I, said I, that. I personally I've been don't like the people. video. But who? But who like, Ron endorsed it. Ooh. Yeah. Buddha ben, Buddha ben said that I could get on a track with Ron <laughs> if I let Ron give me a face This tattoo. is like the kid on, on, uh, on Idol. What did Tyler O'Day say about it? But Roan's a legitimate, like, No, Roan counts. Yeah, so Roan definitely counts. I, Kay Marco I, I, said it was I hot. I don't quite McAfee get the video. said it was hot. I personally, the video didn't do it for me, but what, the song you is, have, you, is you a You have these moves, like, you, there was no words for, like, the, the like first, like, 20 seconds, and then it's like, you, said hello, you said hello to your boys for, like, 30 minutes. It's like, well, you got to well, shout out the boys. I mean, but it was like a full, it was like a, a there was a different concept yeah. for the video. Yeah. There's a different like concept for the video, the but then it started raining, so we kind of just had to make do and do it in the garage. So it was a little, uh, yeah, that, the best, mortar. that was my favorite part about the video. It was like, at any moment, mom could come home and be like, oh, what are you guys doing? Or, or like the video would like cut to what they were taping over. You know what I mean? Like it was <laughs> yeah, just an old, right, like right. a home video tape. Right. I, I, I don't know about the video. The song is a heater. Like, K. Marco sent the song to me and, and Feidelberg, and, and we both kind of had the same reaction where we were like, well, this is a good song. Oh, I didn't have that reaction, no. So was there a point in your life when you thought this was going to be your future? Uh, are you saying rapping? Yeah. Yeah, I don't Still know. Is. I mean, I'm, I don't think I'm that bad. I just, it's, it's something to do on the side. It's fun. And I was kind of definitely we, I mean, we need a new one. We need, we need a, another jet ski track. Oh, there'll be another point. one this Friday. Oh, I don't okay. think you make one this track This Friday, like you that. said? Yeah, I'll drop one every Friday for the rest of the summer, probably. I got like 15 or 20 on so like, like unreleased Fridays. Yeah, we'll do like I lo- Fridays. I'm into God. this. I'm God. into this. I'm into that. I'm, I'm very into it. <laughs> it's crazy, man. I've been kind of low key about it since the whole nap thing. It wasn't. Didn't Can really you like open for Pop Punk? I could definitely open for Pop Punk. Okay, you might have to do that. <laughs> Give Jetski one shot. Yo, the song, have you that seen song t- goes. I don't know about I the video. I don't know about that. It definitely goes. I'm gonna re-listen. I didn't get that. I mean. It'll be on Apple Music like, on like it, Tuesday. Like Post Malone. <laughs> like that song Malone. Well, there's like a review process. I put Shout it out on SoundCloud. Post Malone on... puts that. So, well, Post yes. Malone can put out anything. That's not really that. Fair. That song would, if if it was like a a name that we know, it would play. Hell yeah. Uh, well, okay, I, I don't know. Okay, that the people that. that we bring in this place. Have you seen so Tyler? Funny. And the other side of the spectrum, Tyler O'Day. <laughs> Is singing like David Bowie, acapella David Bowie. He was singing. Like he has a himself. sound. He has a SoundCloud 
of, is he here? Where is he? Of and that's, I love Bowie. it. I fucking love it. Uh, it's another one. It's like, I don't think this is serious, but Frankie is I like, no, it. it's dead serious. And, and, got, and Tommy Smokes was like, usually he's pretty good. Like this one, maybe not so much, but usually he's pretty good. What? You, usually pretty, pretty good what? Like uh, singing covers? Like he sings other people's songs or he has his own songs? He's got a good voice. He used to I be love this. I mean, we we just have the craziest weirdos the musical, that walk in this door. I love the, it. The musical performers of our incubator yeah. for all kinds of talent. You got you got the Tyler Day also you marathon some, runner. You got some pipes. What did you yeah, dress, why'd you dress down today? It's hot. Those are okay. tight, man. What and do we your, got? Your uh, shorts like grab you around the thighs. <laughs> this is my best asset. Your this thighs. 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 Very good. Can you, can He's you a marathon sing runner. the Bowie right now? Right now, I mean, it's like a low key song. So just do it. Oh boy, put him right on the spot. Ooh. That's like telling a comedian, like, tell a joke. Uh, Tyler, come uh, out here, come out here. Get behind us. Well, no, not if you sing. I will be king. And you. <laughs> you will be queen. Though nothing, nothing will keep us together. He's got a good voice. We can be heroes. Just for one day. That was pretty good. I'll send Hollywood. Yeah, I don't know where. Nope. Didn't get to massage his larynx. You know how, Can like, we get jet skis you know how the Tyler U.S. Day? Opens, like, we lost control of the golf course. Yeah, we've lost control of the golf course. We've lost control of, like, Barstool, yeah. Of Barstool? People are, like, Long time. We have albums, spun way like, out of control. Long like, time. acapella versions since we've lost the course. We've lost the course. Yes. Absolutely. You can't have the Barstool making fun of it. You can't have him making a mockery like this. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> It's your company, Dave. I'm, I'm it's looking your at company, stuff. Dave. I don't know whether it's like real or fake. Like he's singing. He, that's very real. He has yeah. his own channel of singing. But isn't this like both. the? Per, wouldn't this be like the perfect bar stool? Like we need another. Yo, you, like, he always Jenna wanted like Marbles the out of nowhere. Be like someone who do, like is an intern or has a job doing the viceroy stuff. And then boom, next thing Bigger you know, he's fucking us. platinum. It's, he's gone. You wanted this, man. You it's wanted crazy. this funhouse. It's house. great. It's crazy. You built this. This is your dream. This, you yes. wanted the Howard Stern whack pack. You got it. I don't friend. know if when you actually dreamed it, you thought of Tyler O'Day singing David Bowie. Well, but that's this is I mean, your dream. I have nothing to do with like yeah. you know. Yeah, that's a gas. That's a gas production, right? Tyler O'Day is a gas. Yeah. Uh, and then and Jet Ski's a Brett production. Yeah. OMB. That's how it happens. It's like when Weird Haircut Seth hired Hank. It's like, yeah. You get it's the always two two separate yeah, yeah, separation yeah, gets yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. That's uh. Oh, and I don't know. We want to talk World Cup at all? I don't. No. Mexico, I, love, I mean, I, love I mean, it, Mexico went crazy. I thought Mexico. I thought Mexico won the whole thing. Like their it was reaction, the biggest. It was the biggest win in the history of Mexico. It, it, but it really game. means nothing, right? Well, wow. it means something. They right, might, something. Might, yeah. I thought they won the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, that. I mean, that video I mean, of the, the of the old uh, grandmother doing the yeah it was yeah, pretty awesome. Yeah, that was good. I mean, Liz is trying to sell Viva La Mexico like stool and stars with Mexico flags. It's like Landon like, Donovan. I was like, I don't think anyone's buying those. Landon Donovan got in a lot of heat because he did My it. My other team? Yeah. yeah. He should have just been like, yeah, it was an ad. People were very upset at him. All right. That's very the upset. rundown. I'll, I'll, oh. You all right, Tommy? 10% off on our merch. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Merch. And yeah. Last, last day to get it before 4th of July. 4th of July, yes. all the shit we got on sale, uh, 10% off. If you buy today, you get it by the 4th of July. That's the last guarantee. If you buy it tomorrow, we can't guarantee it. 